Let's take a look at how we use the TI-84 graphing calculator and the FCDF function in order to calculate the p-value for analysis of variance. So the FCDF function is located under the distribution menu. So to get to that distribution menu, we would go second and we'd go to uh, VARES or distribution. This will pull up the distribution menu. And if you look through the list, you'll see down at option number nine, you see the FPDF, but we want the FCDF, which on my calculator, it's option zero. When you select this, there are four inputs. It's gonna say the lower bound, the upper bound, degrees of freedom for the numerator and degrees of freedom for the denominator. Now this follows example one that I did in a previous video. So just recall that the, the degrees of freedom for the numerator for analysis of variance are really the degrees of freedom for the treatments and the degrees of freedom for the denominator in analysis of variance is really the degrees of freedom for the error. So in the problem that we worked out in the previous example, we came up with a, a test statistic of 0 0.2. That's going to be our lower bound. The upper bound, since our F distribution goes to the right forever or towards positive infinity, we're gonna use a very large number like 1 million. And then the degrees of freedom for the numerator were two and the degrees of freedom for the denominator were six. And again, those are the degrees of freedom for the treatments and the degrees of freedom for the error respectively. For some of you with an older calculator, it may say FCDF left parenthesis right here, and then you have to type in the values in order just like you see them on my, on my screen right now. And you'll have to separate those values with a comma. If you're not sure where the comma is, if you locate the number seven button, the button directly above that is the comma button right there. So once you have those values put into the calculator, all you do is hit enter and then it'll crunch the numbers and it'll come out and it'll give you the p-value, which is similar to what we had in the example that I showed you, the p-value of 0.82397 or 0.8240, I think is what we came up with on our example.